Guys, we've got a little bit of a slack day today. So it's Sunday here, not many places are open. It's difficult to get like appointments and all that kind of stuff. So Ryan is head fried, to be honest, mate. There's so many figures and so many fish going, you know, through his mind and in front of his eyes that me and Sushi decided maybe you should have a lay in and a little bit of a rest today. And I need a shave, look at that. Uh, so me and that Sushi are gonna go around and do some photography. Um, shooting some of the fish and all that kind of stuff, trying to cross the T's and dot the I's, give the young fella a bit of a break, but we're gonna have good fun, I can tell you now. now even though it's a chill day, I wanna be on form. So we're gonna get one of those. I mean, should I get one of those? Yes, I will. Eva will be chucked. Let's try a different one. Oh, maybe not that one. Should we try a banana one? Let's do it. Well, I said this, guys. Say this, guys, but get a little bit bored of the same sandwich. <laughs> First place we've got to come to do some photography is Otsukas. So there's a lovely Tancho Goski in here that, um, yeah, needs a, needs a picture. Let's have a little look. Otsukas is right on the road. As you're going up to the mountains, you can't help but pass it a dozen times a day, as you can see. Um, and it's got lovely river running through it like i was down there in october it's really cool i said mate there's some massive spiders down there as well it's scary but anyway let's have a little look in hotsukas <coughs> he's got really really nice chibi nisai to be honest really really high quality stuff some of it most of this best stuff there is hidden away akamatsubas is Pretty much one of his specialities, as long as a sagi. as a Hindu cow. Wonder how many pictures at sushi is taking a fish.
trick of the trade, the old magic stick. Oh, playing ball. Oh. <laughs> Apart from the bubbles on the surface. Like, um, but he can't wait to get there for his Sunday dinner. You'll chip it in for a lot. はい。どうも、ありがとうございます。動画も撮って。絶対今日の方が映りいいよ。昨日天気いい方。そう。映りは悪いです。昨日光が強すぎて。雨の日とか。あ、オッケー。じゃあ動画も。Okay, <笑> That's what you use as a umbrella <coughs> to keep all the glare of the water. Adjust the camera then to uh, to the light, and uh, there's a 30 second video. Good technique where he puts the hands in his pocket. So I'll take this on just now, good. Hey. 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 Beautiful fish here, guys. We're going to take a picture of this because we've got some of the room to offer it to. We'll put a bit of uh, sedate and then uh, put it into the other bowl and we'll do a nice video and a picture of it. Sometimes you can come to these farms, search for a toy for a client, take a picture, video, and offer it out, and you can kind of hold them for four hours. One with my, with my camera? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's a technique. <laughs> it ain't a snake in his pocket, it's an umbrella. But it does the trick. Normally, 30 second video. And then, obviously, for the picture, you don't need the umbrella because the flash eliminates the shine on the water, really. Bone colour is really important as well. These bones that you can get in Japan are the absolute perfect blue. For some reason, the ones in the UK are well too dark.
jumps. So. Small bowl, guys, but at sushi's gonna have a go. There we are then guys, you've just seen how long it took to take a few pictures of a couple of fish. Um, it's such a time consuming thing and toes eye are way more difficult to, to obviously take pictures and film because they're all over the place. So you imagine getting a couple of boxes of toes eye come over to your facility and you've got to take pictures one by one. Mate, it takes so long, do you know what I mean? I, I, I'm trying to... Um, to lock down and try to pinpoint my um, my photography on koi, but it's it's quite difficult. It's a it's a it's a, it's a true art form, to be honest. And obviously, Atsushi makes it look so easy because he's been doing it for probably a decade now. And you imagine this is his full time job, so seven days a week, most of the time. So um, yeah, he certainly knows how to take a picture of a of a fish. And obviously, in the UK as well, you've got Lee and Bess, which is pretty pretty good at taking pictures of fish and, and stuff like that so um yeah it's definitely a a, a skill set that you should know if you're a if you're a hobbyist just to document the journey of your own fish and especially if you're a dealer then that's a necessity you know? we're on the way to uh ofuchi is it ofuchi we're going yes oh mate i'm getting the grips with these names and uh, i thought we'd just stop and show you the view here it's absolutely gorgeous obviously all the snow's melting now it's probably about 16 degrees it feels i don't know it's quite warm though. This woolly hat is deceiving. That sushi just said it's eight degrees, which is quite warm for this time of year. Normally, these roads are pretty much unpassable, aren't they? But uh, yeah, look, you can see the river down there. What's the river called again, Atsushi? Shinanogawa. That's the one, Shinan Shinanagawa, I think that's right. But anyway, in October, I'm going fishing there and I'm serious because I was talking to Kobayashi-san and they got some nice trout in there. So. We'll take the fly rod. Chip is going to be absolutely jealous. Nothing of size in it, I don't think. But anyway, pretty cool. Wow. Guys, the soldier's been here before. This is Ofuchi's Tozai house. So the beginning of the last week, we were... You can't see it from here, but... Can you see it from here? Yeah, so his Nisa house is just up here. So this is obviously his pad, and this is the Tozai house. So uh, yeah, let's have a little look. Some mud ponds there, slowly thawing out, aren't they? Warm in here, guys. Not the best looking or tidiest greenhouse I've ever been into, but the fish are banging. No matter what the outside looks like, doesn't make a difference with what's in the drink. There you guys. All the shells, all the jack mat in. Don't know what else is in there, but uh, they look an absolute mess, but they work a treat. There's some toes on there, guys. And then we've got the, uh, the gas boiler coming into here, so this is pretty hot. Obviously, I can hold it, but that's, you know, quite warm and then obviously the heat exchanger down there. Okay then guys, so behind me, quite a really beautiful house to be honest, uh, Ofuchi's uh, Sansai and uh, Yonsai house. So let's have a little look in there. Maybe their parent fish is there as well. Who knows? We've got another one on the other side, look. Takano's form of transport. Brand new tractor in there. Ofuchi koi farms are obviously doing quite well. Oh wow, this is a bit tighter, isn't it? Oh wow. 
Wow, yeah, okay. Very impressive. Big difference between this and the toes I how isn't it? This is like really neat. Nice scalation here. So we've had permission from the mama to go in here. So this is a bit of a, a treat for us really. The depth of that guys. Alright, oh, okay. Oh, guys. So this is their top. Wow, look at their gosh you. Ooh, Gorm <laughs> knows. Yeah. She's who is. Wow, they're really nice. Sushi didn't think they were going to let us in here. So probably not a lot of people has been in this koi house. Hi! Arigato mas! <laughs> yeah, really nice guys. Wow, probably oh, got some of the tatty goi down here. Wow, look at the goshis. Really vivid. Super. Dead guys, that was a real treat. They don't normally let anyone in there, do they, Sushi? Hi. Huh? That is hard. It's hard to get in there, so very nice of them. A quick one, guys. If you look at that steep, like, hillside there, it's awesome. They do sort of, like, um, concrete kind of netting on it, obviously to stop landslides when um, there's uh, big uh, earthquakes, which are interesting. Some mud ponds here, all under the snow. Now... We're gonna go and see a temple because I want to get blessed. Hey guys, I thought we'd pop in to see a temple. It's quite impressive, this one. Let's get in and have a little look. Ooh, this is the entrance. Pretty cool. A few lanterns here, guys. Might be able to get some of these back in the suitcase, so let me know if you want one. So cool. Okay then guys, that's another one off the bucket list. We went in, we couldn't film inside. They were doing a um, ceremony or something like that. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. Not gonna lie. I think I prefer St. David's, but uh, yeah, on, on we go. Right, we're in a lovely little restaurant here, guys. They specialize in shrimps. You really see these bad boys. Nice, absolutely gorgeous. So my favorite meat is obviously that sushi had to have three. Fat boy slim. And sushi has just got a lovely dessert. Love is in the air. There we are then, guys. Because of the excellence of the food, it's not quite a Michelin star, but it's something. So let's get back on the Guys, road. so I'm back at one of my favorite locations in Japan. It's the famous abandoned koi ghost house. Check just out this. come back from where we're going. It's like a factory one side, and then we've got like a mud pond here and there's literally like four or five mud ponds down there but look at this koi house guys it's absolutely incredible there's like oh there is fish in here this time uh sush so there is fish in there this time guys which is amazing because last year there was like nothing there and if you can remember i chucked a massive dead koi out there 
so we got like a load of mud ponds down this side um, which I didn't see last time but then if you look in here this time now guys there's some fishies so I'm really happy to see that this koi house is really nice Kia series over that side so I'm really 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 happy that this koi house is getting used for the greater good so to give them luck I think they need a stamp of approval yes <laughs> Lee's favorite koi house I love this place this is so cool look if you look at the floor it's actually just a mud floor it's like a, it's like a mud pond floor but actually some really nice koi in here guys really 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 cool little place respect So cool. Yeah, sweet. I got a funny feeling this is like a hobbyist um, toy house. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite ones. I don't know why. You just get a feeling sometimes when you see something. And last year, it really took my imagination somewhere. But really cool. So big bud pond that side. See some really nice fish cruising across here uh, in the uh, autumn. And then obviously, we've got one, two, three, four, five mud ponds this side. Really cool, guys. Bit of a dream. Looks like there's a mud pond right to the rear as well. Well, not a mud pond, is it? It's like a holding pond. It's really cool though. Oh, a bit boggy the round ground is. Hmm. Lovely place. I think the fact it's got sort of like that abandoned factory one side makes it even more spooky around the back to have a little look guys and uh, oh there's a koi down there as well so can you see there's a koi down there and there's a load of koi still in the pond as well wow dude look at some of those sankey there guys there's some um, sankey some hiatsuri shisui that is bonkers look down there that's actually a nice Sankey. Look at the body on it. See you guys? Wow! That is so cool. Really impressed. And there's fish in here as well. So undoubtedly there is probably fish in those mud ponds that's been out over winter. Look at that down there, Igoromo. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Shisui. Sankey. Showa. Oh, dude, that's cool. Makes me want to get my drone up. Turi just cruising past there, guys, coming back towards us now. Sh uh, Shiro's. That Sankey as well. So cool. Like anyone that's got a little tiny bit of land, a mud pond this size is actually achievable, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I don't know how well it would perform in the uh, in the in the summer in the UK, but these fish have obviously been left here over winter. This would have been covered with snow two weeks ago, and iced over, and they're still fine. Look at that, look at that, look, 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 look. Check out that for Sankey, guys. Look at the body on it. And the rest of the group is just over there. The shore coming over now, guys. We'll have another good look. What's there? 
I can see a Maritan Kawaku on the go. I don't think you will see him from there yet. Now look at this, guys. How amazing is that? I didn't think I was going to see any koi in a mud pond on this trip. But lo and behold, a nice little selection. It's purely because I've driven past. I'm going to go in and check out the Koi Museum. Seen this a million times on videos, obviously, but I've never been here and uh, I'm here. So, all the trees, cool, huh? That's nice. Nice three step, guys. Is the entrance it's, this is mad guys because this is like just tucked away in the back of like the streets hello guys got a few tanks kicking around bit of merch go after it So I think all the breeders are around Nagata actually um, donate some koi uh, to keep this um, this place alive, which is nice of them. And you've got this pint on there, which you can oh, crush up. There's a lot of hungry mouths there, guys. Got a few tanks here. A few different varieties, patches, you got some tamasaba. The outside Japanese garden guys. It's sort of like well, I wouldn't say a lazy river, but kind of like a lazy river. And um, I suppose in the hotter months, most of the koi in there probably come out here. A bit of swim around. I'll take all these bamboo supports off. Wow, look at that tree. Sick. And that means cool in American. Um, yeah, cool. That tree is incredible, isn't it? Pretty cool. All these rocks. Interesting fact that, uh, that I've been told is, see these bridges where they go in different directions? Um, in Japanese culture, they think that evil spirits can only travel in one in straight lines. So this is to confuse the evil spirit so they can't cross to get to like houses or the other side of places and all that kind of stuff, which is uh, quite a cool idea, I suppose. Love it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go home without buying a little wolf boy a toy. Hi right, guys, back at the new Atari now, gonna get upstairs. Found myself a wicked pair of shoes today. You're gonna enjoy these bad boys. And I've got a toy for and wolf. And be a better jolly pasta with your all time best friend. Me and Misha has known each other for years now. And this is our personal favorite pr pr uh, place to go to eat. Misha, we have known each other for a year. So I'm not lying. 